Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on GTA 5 with another versus the army, and let's face it, you all knew this was going to happen uh, relatively soon. Uh, we are going to put the Batmobile up against the army. Although I will start by saying I've had to make this car invincible using the trainer. I've had to make this car invincible. Reason being is if I don't, I hit one vehicle, said vehicle explodes, and that also sets this thing on fire. I tried fiddling about with the handling file, I couldn't find a way of stopping it do that. So, yes, I have made the Batmobile, in admittedly it probably should be, it should be a hell of a lot tougher, I don't know why it is that it catches fire instantly. Um, so yeah, I have made this invincible, so they are not going to be able to destroy my vehicle. However, I have actually still got to try and outmaneuver them, I'm still going to have to try and get away, and this is not the easiest thing to drive, lots of power and four-wheel steering make it quite peculiar. I mean, there are other ways I could fail. The, the cockpit is not invincible. They could shoot Michael out of the vehicle, or I could fall in some water. Hopefully I won't fall in some water, but um, yeah, I'm kind of curious as whether this is going to have the control to actually get away from the army. It's going to have the, the, the strength, and we can really, um, yeah, push push the army cars around, much like when we saw when I put the Duke's war machine up against them. Um, <laughs> this will push the army cars around. But uh, is whether I'm going to have the actual control and the handling to outmaneuver them. And this thing is absolutely awful off-road. Hey, guys. Okay, yeah, they, they actually played that one fairly sensibly. Like, they're not... They're not... To <laughs> you guys have figured it out. Holy crap, it's only taken you however many episodes. But you have figured out that it is a dumb idea to try and go head-on with a Batmobile or whatever vehicle. Yeah, they really... They are not that keen on turning in. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Oh, crap. Don't spin around the camera. Uh, a little bit on two wheels. Just uh, Oh, hey. I'm slightly... Oh, Christ. I'm slightly parked up here. Oh, you're not clever. <laughs> and that's why you don't go and play chicken with a Batmobile. Uh, yeah, they actually... I don't quite... That's peculiar. Maybe it's something with the, the model that causes them issues turning straight. I don't know. Anyway, um... Yeah, that's the first the first train of vehicles have, uh, have gone past and smack. Oh crap! Now we're gonna lose all control of our <laughs> of that Batmobile. Right, I don't know how fast this thing will go in a straight line. I'm assuming pretty damn fast is the answer, but I haven't actually run it up to its top speed. We are at 140. You are a very oh, you are a very very lucky army man there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know where that jeep is turning. Oh, you can't quite get across in time. They do try a bit better with getting across. They just uh, don't know why they won't go for the head-on collisions. Um, we top out at 150... Oh, 855 miles an hour. No, there we go, 160. 161 miles an hour. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Messer. <laughs> Look at it, tumble. <laughs> that is, this is this is great fun. Can't decide if this is more fun than the Duke's War Machine or not. Well, we've kind of been committed to going this way. Look at the mess. <laughs> How many rotations can we get the message to do? Well, they are actually kind of... I didn't mean to hit them. They, they just happened. They are actually kind of being sensible and getting out of the way of 160 mile an hour unstoppable force. Some of them are, anyway. Uh, where are you going? I don't know. He just went straight to the barrier. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> That's one way to clear it. Oh, land it. Look at that. <laughs> yep, I think that is stunt of the week right there. I apologize to the poor innocent sultan that was involved in that. I, there was just nothing I could... I couldn't stop or turn the vehicle out of that in time. We were going into the back of it, and I kind of used the salted as a ramp to clear the barracks. That was fantastic. That's probably the best stunt I've ever done in versus the police, or army, in in this case, where the series has become. Um, I will I will take that, though. We are actually going so fast. Oh, Christ. Uh-oh. Uh, can we land this one as well? Hey! <laughs> this has just become the stunting episode. Okay, this thing flies really, really well. Nope, let's not hit the supercar. I apologize. I think it was a supercar that I squashed in that last one. What are you going to do, Barracks? Yes, we shall all oh dear. <laughs> we shall just throw angry cars around. Oh, we shall climb over the Barracks. Oh, no. I'm very sorry to all of the AI traffic that is kind of getting caught up, the innocent bystanders in all of this. Oh, dear. Everything is exploding. This is why I had to make this invincible. Okay. <laughs> Because one explosion sets this, or normally sets this thing on fire, sometimes you can get away with it. Um, we may have caused a small bit of chaos, just a small, a small bit of chaos. I'm, I'm fascinated as to why it is, though, that with this vehicle, sometimes they chicken out and don't come near. I can kind of see why, when I can do that. 
<laughs> but why it is that, yeah, the, the, the AI, normally they're so aggressive, but they just don't bother. Hmm, okay, that's curious. Oh, as, on, a, on a side note, this is not a, this doesn't replace anything in the game. This is its own, all its own custom stuff, so maybe something with this model causes them the odd little bit of issue. Whoopsie. We've made it to the city, as you can imagine, with much mess on the motorway. But I didn't actually ever get out, I only got out of the Code of Vision once in all of that chase. Only did I do it once, and that was only briefly, and I didn't have time to react at all. So while all of the destruction is very, very good fun, this is, this is amazing, fun, to, to, to do is not actually... Prius, I will come back and get you. Hold on, I've got the vehicle to do this for once. I can go back and get a Prius that I have spotted. Prius! There we go. Prius has been dealt with. <laughs> oh, and another one! Ah, what a fantastic day. I love the airtime that you get off, off of the... Uh, I thought that was, um... I thought there were more Prius in the car, but I don't know, mind. Uh, I love the airtime I can get when you when you go over a relatively sort of low car. I will try and avoid supercars. Well, I thought that was a... I thought that was a barracks for a minute going through the air at that height. I was wondering what on earth was going on, but no, it's just a helicopter. It's fine. I actually don't want to go this way, because I think that's going back towards the motorway. Who wants to go play on the motorway when I can do this? <laughs> oh, no, Sultan. God damn it, Sultan. Hello, helicopter. Probably not a good idea to, uh... <laughs> to be messing around when I have this sort of a thing. Oh, but this the, the handling. The handling lets it down. Crap, I tried to turn for the Prius, but I wanted to keep going this way and I missed it. Um, the handling is very, very difficult. The old barracks, which is, look at that. I, I was so nice to that particular barracks. That was uh, just slightly deposited off of the road. But yeah, trying to get to grips with this handling is very difficult to carry corner speed. Because if you do too much steering, oh, we need to, oh, don't do enough steering, we need a tree. That's me trying to be smooth to carry corner speed. You do too much steering, and the four-wheel steer will just make the car go sideways, and then you lose time because you're just skidding across the road. So, oh, or you just completely lose the back end of the car. Sorry again, soldier, I didn't even mean to hit that one. We're carrying its bumper with us. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting kind of thing to try and drive, and that's why I was curious to see whether this could actually get away from the army, because, yeah, we have the strength and we have phenomenal acceleration, like here, but we don't really have handling. Now, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go to hide from the army. Maybe down there? This is not really an ideal hiding place for a Batmobile, I will be honest. It's not really big enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're totally, we're totally hit. Now, we'll probably be better off over here, let's be honest. This looks like a much more sensible... Uh, uh, apparently it's not. Apparently someone saw me. I don't know how they saw me. It's not like a Batmobile doesn't stick out at all. Um, hey! Well done. Well done there. Oh, no, you actually made things ever so slightly awkward. Now, you would think that this might work. It does not. Uh, no, okay, we've just mounted the barracks. That's one way to do things. Uh, no, I was, just, I was going for the push. Apparently not. We'll just go for the squash. Right. Run away. Prius! Woo! Prius ramp! Uh-oh. <laughs> Prius has got its revenge on us, as it normally finds a way of doing. Uh <laughs> Priuses are the ultimate ramps. You enjoy exploding them and they give you so much airtime. It's perfect. Right, let's try again. With again, I'm having too much fun to really care about actually getting away from the army. Army truck! No army truck anymore. Oh, we've kind of met the scenery. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos has been brought to Los Santos more than it normally does when, I, when I'm around and the army are trying to stop me. They have not really got much of an answer. Prius for a Batmobile. I don't think there really is much of an answer for a Batmobile when it's as unstoppable as this. Get out of the way. Um, but equally, I haven't actually shaken them for any real length of time. And I thought I might do a little bit better job with the speed that this thing can get to. But no, they are doing a pretty good job of uh, staying nearby. Well, that thing didn't explode. That took a very heavy hit on the front and didn't go bang. Right, I am in a bit of a gap. There does not seem to be any army vehicles around. I've spun a Prius, and we've driven over one and exploded it, and now I'm, I'm caught on a... No! These bloody Priuses, they always find a way. They always find a way of screwing throw you over. As much fun as they are to destroy, they often come out victorious. That one there, not quite so much. Uh, right, okay, let's stop exploding everything. Stop exploding all of the pre's that you see around, okay? I will stop going for pre's. You're not going to have a good day there, are you? Uh, <laughs> too much fun. This Batmobile is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Prius, I said I wasn't going to destroy any more Priuses. I had to. I kind of did have to. Never mind. Um... <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Serious face now. All as serious face as you can do when you've got a Batmobile that explodes everything. We will try and now get away from the army. The first nine minutes have just been explode the entirety of the city. Uh, now, how are we going to 
Okay, I lied. One more Prius explosion. Uh, oh, no, two more, because you're just going to pull out in front of me. Uh, <laughs> I will get bored of this game sometime, just not for a while. Uh, no, I, honestly, I will get to the serious. I'm trying to get away from the army bits eventually. Right, straight line speed. We have. We have lots of straight line speed. The helicopters aren't really keeping up. They don't sound a hobo around here. I'm too fast for the helicopters to uh, to keep up. So we can use straight line speed to shake the uh, to shake the cars. We need to get far enough away, and then we can go hide in like a car park or something else uh, around, possibly. However, the army are doing a really bloody good job of keep being around every single corner. My fear is with this is that I don't actually have the uh, I can't carry the corner speed. Whoa! We've kind of deposited everything up in the air. Um, oopsie. Uh, I kind of don't have the corner speed, and then once you start doing this, I've lost all of my all of my speed. As much fun as the explosions are, and as much you know, as this can sort of fight off anything. You are still losing uh, losing time, being slowed down by exploding all of the vehicles. Uh, oh crap! Okay, well we're just going to go through this. Uh, <laughs> It is quite nice having the option of, I can't be bothered to try and find a way around you, so I'm just going to go straight, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. Ah, uh, brake, 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 brake. Oh, I was going to try and go left. The brakes the brakes are pretty good on here. However, you've got to bear in mind that we are trying to stop from quite high speeds. So, yeah, they didn't quite get stopped as quickly as I was hoping. This might be the record for most vehicles exploded. I think this is more than the Dukes of, uh, the Dukes War Machine, I would, I would think. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Uh, oh crap! Oh no! Ooh, we're going to land on the front of the barracks. I mean, that's one way to do things. Hmm. They they have actually they've taken off all of the armor of Michael so far, or almost all of the armor. And so they have got a few shots in. It's not bad going. Right, straight line. Use speed. Well, okay. Uh, uh, oh no! That's going to be a solid thing. <laughs> I love how there is nothing can stop this except for those poles, those those wooden poles that the uh, the Batmobile can't drive. What? Why did the army try to steal that poor sod's Landstalker? They had a perfectly good jeep, and then they tried to steal the Landstalker. <laughs> okay, even the army are going a little bit inside. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised that with the speed that this thing here has, that I haven't been able to get out of the code of, well I mean that's one way I wasn't going for that method of climbing over stuff well getting past stuff even I wasn't trying to climb over it it just decided that the citron will explode and fire me up in the air across the top of the mule sure um oh I thought that was an army jeep sorry sorry that was unintentional slightly I, I thought you were someone else um <laughs> Yeah, this is really not doing a very good job of getting out of the out of the cone of vision. Even the normal tactics of point it in a straight line and fire it somewhere just aren't quite working. The army is surrounding it well enough. Now we may have to resort to the car park tactic. Now it might work, but I suspect the army aren't going to get confused enough if I just drive up. Whoa! And he landed it again. Yeah, I suspect the army won't get confused if they're still giving chase. I really need to get out of the code of vision and then hide in a car park. But uh, getting out of the code of vision is proving very, very difficult. Oh, get back on the road. Ugh. Oh, that was a, that was a pathetic. Uh, I would not want the vehicles if that, if that is what sets the thing off exploding. There's just so many army vehicles around. I cannot get far enough away. Now, there is a car park somewhere around here. I'm wondering if I can take a couple of clever turns. Maybe we can confuse them enough. Uh, there we go. Right. Fantastic. That is what we wanted. We are out of the cone of vision. Now, don't explode anything in the car park. Don't make things explode while we go into the car park. Uh, <laughs> send up a big... They might as well just send up a big flare saying, I'm over here! Uh, that, yeah, let's not do any of that silliness. Where... How high can we go? We'll go as high as we can before we get to the roof. So here. Now, where was it that the army came up? Last time I hid in this car park, uh, the army came up the ramp, the the ramp that's kind of underneath here. So I'm going to park up this bit. Maybe I think I might have I might have found a good way of making a breakaway. Got to be careful of helicopters. If there are any helicopters around, they could potentially see me through there. And of course, the army guys don't show up on the map until they're right on top of you. So if there are army vehicles climbing the car park or army foot soldiers. I won't see them until it is probably too late. I think, though, they may have... Uh, no. Oh, they climb up the stairs over there. Oh, bugger, I should have gone the other side. Uh, arse. Well, I was going to say, I think they may have given up because I have just depleted all of their resources. Oh, dear. I mean, there's not a good place to leave a Prius when I'm around, is it? When it's the only thing about. Whee! 
<laughs> That's one way down. <laughs> For a minute, I thought we were going to get stuck in the hedge. That really would have been um, the ultimate revenge from the Prees. Right. Ooh, okay. Big slides. Okay, car parks should probably work. I've just got to get that, that momentary leeway. But you've got to beware that the soldiers will come running up the stairs after you. And they will cause some trouble. So, that's uh, something to be uh, trying to deal with. Oh, well, we're going to just, yeah. <laughs> I thought about trying to navigate them and avoid it. And then I didn't, basically. Oh, crap. There's. I wanted to go into this car park here with no one chasing, but it's not really worked, has it? Do they know where I've gone? Are they still following? Yeah, they are. Arse. Uh, there, is, well, there is a better car park. Probably the best car park. Oi. One of the best car parks for this would be the one that's on the left here now. That's it. Oh, there's a ruiner with the <laughs> with neons on. Uh, yeah, that's probably one of the best spaces for uh, for hiding. I couldn't stop in time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Just fiery car throwing at the sidewalk. Um, this is a little bit more difficult than I was expecting. I will be honest. I really thought I'd be able to get out of the code of visions better than I am. You just can't with this. I mean, Perhaps the speed might work against it slightly, but then having said that, if you want to, you know, use the argument that, you know, covering the huge amount of ground means I'm going to run into more army units, Formula One car really didn't have any problems whatsoever at getting away from the, uh, getting away from the army. So, oh, you're going to get yourself in trouble if you drive like that. The mule is, uh, I thought the mule looked like it was really shifting, but maybe it wasn't. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Wow, that pretty survived that hit. Well done. Well, bugger. We may, have, we may have slightly ended up in a tree. Get out of the way. <laughs> too much too much fun to be had with the Batmobile exploding stuff. Uh, maybe we can go try the same car park again. I think where it's positioned is quite good for just momentarily shaking shaking army units. Uh-oh. And land it. Come on. Come on, Batmobile. Oh, not quite, not quite as good. Not as, none of the stuns have really beaten that first one we went for. <laughs> I do love the way that this thing gets fired up into the air when when you drive over a normal car. He <laughs> just launches, or a lot of them, just launch the Batmobile straight up into the sky. I wonder if we can do this. Ooh, this is an idea I haven't used before in a uh, versus the army. What happens? Oh, bugger, they saw me through the fence. I couldn't get into the golf course in time. They say, what happens if I can play at the golf course? Unfortunately, there are helicopters around. Wait, uh, missiles, missiles, missiles. I've got to go all through these. We do have missiles on this and weapons and so... Oh, crap. Christ. <laughs> oh, the army cars are on the golf course. Oh, this is going to be a fun new game. This is a fact. Well, how did they get here? I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> right. Helicopter, come here. Where are you? Oh, I was going to find missiles at the helicopter. Now we're just playing an interesting game of golf. Hello. Um, uh, oh, come on. Deposit you in the water. I don't know how deep the water is. Oh, that's pretty deep. That's pretty damn deep. Okay, let's not put the Batmobile in the water. I spy a helicopter. Not that I can really aim at said helicopter, and the missiles don't really lock on. Okay, it doesn't really seem to matter. I can't look up high enough to aim at the helicopter, so kind of pointless. Uh, oh, you have to be really far away to get the angles right, but this is clearly not going to, uh, to work. I guess maybe the army cars came over this. No, you're not going to climb over that bit, are they? You can jump out of it that way, but they're not going to... I don't know how they got in the golf course. I guess they must have just spawned in in there. Slightly disappointing, really. Such a great plan and everything. Whoopsie. May have exploded a panto. Still not really though doing a very good job of oh crap. Not doing a very good job of driving this moment in time. Not doing a very good job of losing the army though. I just don't think we have the, the control in this. We can't really carry the, the speed through the turns necessary to cause the army any real problems. Okay, let's try can we actually shake them just simply by going in here? Now we're not gonna escape this one, because I think they're uh, far too close going in here. Also, we really struggle to get <laughs> does not turn very well going up here. This is a little too smaller a car park, I think, really, for the Batmobile. So we have lost them now, because I'm, the, I'm out of sight around a couple of corners. However, yeah, the second that I'm going to pop up here, they will see me. Also, I don't know where that shot came from, but well done. Uh, <laughs> whoever got that shot, must have been from a helicopter or a ground unit. Oh, this is a really... Even with the four-wheel steer, this does not really like this... Uh, turnings very well. Right. Okay. So the army are now hopefully stuck in the car park. We, we will go for a... Oops. I may... I didn't think I could explode myself with a roll. I thought I was invincible. Um... 
that's not quite the ending that I expected or quite the plan I had when I decided to jump off that car park. <laughs> Turns out the Batmobile, even with invincibility on, can be exploded if you land badly. Off a... I knew the Priuses would get me in the end. It, it was just inevitable that it would be a Pri that would be the end of the Batmobile. It didn't get away from the army. It was a stupid, stupid amount of fun. Uh, yeah, the Batmobile is incredible. It causes many explosions, there is much speed, and everything goes flying. Uh, you will need to put it on invincible unless you know how to fiddle with the handling files to make it so that it doesn't constantly explode. Um... Because, yeah, one explosion would, would would set the Batmobile on fire, hence why the the invincibility. But even with that, apparently, if you land it awkwardly from the uh, from the jumps, it'll go up. Uh, but, yeah, as far as getting away from the army, probably not the best thing. I think it's too difficult to drive. However, for causing absolute chaos in uh, GTA V, there is absolutely nothing better. Well, there we go. <laughs> that is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.